this is one of those opportunities that brings so much joy to my heart. It serves the underprivileged in Africa. And this is African Orphans. The foundation that I'm going to introduce to you today provides scholarships for orphaned African children. Hello, my name is Bridget Wind. Thank you so much for clicking. If we've never met, I am an entrepreneur and an educator. And in this series, I'm sharing opportunities for scholarships that will help you further your education. And in this particular video, I have an exciting opportunity for African orphans who are excelling in their education. You can study in the UK, Japan, or the United States of America. If you want to know more about this opportunity, then stay tuned. I have an exciting opportunity for a scholarship from an organization that targets orphan children in Africa. The Ashinaga African Initiative began in 2014. It, its mission is to contribute to South Saharan Africa's expanding role in global development through increasing access to higher education. We support orphan students who are committed to returning home and initiating change by providing access to full financial support to study at a university abroad. Ashinaga support covers tuition, accommodation, travel costs, and other necessary fees. So this is an organization that's based in Japan and their goal is to provide scholarships for orphan children in Africa. Let's look at the requirements. Applicants must have lost one or both parents. So like I said, the target orphans have completed secondary school and received the results of their national secondary school exam. Take note here that technical and vocational degrees are not accepted. And you should have received your results within the last two years, any date after 2nd August 2020 or who have completed secondary school and received your results by February 28, 2023. Another requirement is you have to be born after 1st September 2000. So there, there is an age limit there. Next qualification is you do not have the means to attend university abroad without external financial support. You have to be proficient in English, French, or Portuguese, and you have to be ranked in the, in the top 10% of your class during your last two years or three years of secondary school. Next, you should be able to participate in their preparatory programs over the course of one year before attending university. Next, you must be committed to returning home. This is a big one. So far, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to give it a like and please subscribe. I am going to wait for a minute while you do that. If you haven't subscribed already, you are missing out on a lot. I have a lot more information that's coming your way, so you do well to subscribe. A very important requirement for this scholarship is you must be committed to return home or to Sub-Saharan Africa and contribute in the Sub-Saharan Africa after graduation from your university. The important thing to note here is they want people to go back to contribute to Africa. The next requirement is you should have no dependents who could interfere with academic progress. 
I guess that's why they are looking for younger people. The last requirement in this section is you should be in good health so you can be able to study abroad. Let's move on to the list of documents you will need to submit as part of your application. You need a photo or at least one of the following documents. And these are passport, national ID or your birth certificate. You should also have a photo or scan of your most recent high school term report or transcripts. And then you need to have a photo or scan of your final high school examination results certificate, if applicable. That is if you graduated already and you have your certificate. And this is what you need to include in the full application. You need to have a passport photo, passport or national ID card, birth certificate, death certificate of the deceased parents, or an alternative official document providing the information of the death of your parents. Basically, they want to establish that you are truly an orphan. That way you don't take up a scholarship that somebody else actually qualifies for. Again, they are talking about your transcripts here. So just go down the whole thing and read about it. Which are the eligible countries? Applicants must have citizenship in the following. And it's basically all the Sub-Saharan African countries, including Angola, all the way to Zambia and Zimbabwe. Selection process. Applicants for all countries will be assessed after the application deadline and successful applicants will be invited to final assessment. During this assessment, Ashinaga conducts individual interviews and sets an examination to better understand the student's academic abilities and career goals in sub-Saharan African countries. Students must bring all their original documents. So those are the requirements. Please check out this very, very exciting opportunity on ashinaga.org. And I'm going to write down the name of the website so you'll be able to clearly see it and go to their website and look through all this information one more time. Let's go to the part that says how to apply. Applications for this initiative are now closed for this year. However, I'm bringing this to your attention so that if you have an orphaned dependent, you can start to prepare them for next year. For August, actually, of this year. It's very important that you email this organization so that they can add you to their mailing list or you check back here in August. In the meantime, all these requirements that we've looked at, you can start to prepare accordingly. Let's take a look at this organization so that you can get a little bit more familiar with it. The name of the organization is mentioned here, Ashinaga Foundation, and there is their address. It was established in 1993, so they've been around for a long time. And here is the email address and the phone number so that in case you are interested in getting more information, please contact them directly. Looks like they're an open organization. They show you their financial reports and all of that. If you look at their frequently asked questions, there's a lot there. Take a look at it and see if there'll be more information that will be helpful to you. For example, how will I hear about being invited to the assessment? It says you, if you are selected, you will receive an email with all the details by March 2023. So this is for those who applied 
this year but for those who apply in august most likely you will hear from them by next year march how much does it cost to apply all applications are free of charge if i applied last year can i apply again if you still satisfy the requirements you are welcome to apply so there's a lot of questions here that are being answered this is a full ride scholarship they provide everything for you so if you are still in school if you are still in secondary school right now make sure all your grades are excellent you will be able to qualify for this scholarship most likely it's been wonderful spending this time with you i hope all the information i've provided for you has been of great help and for now let me wish you god's blessings and see you in the next one bye bye